I am Edwin Wilwaiko. I'm 70 years old. Uh, this is my 47 years in the creative industry, the, the visual arts. Whenever I paint, I always start with a prayer. That's very important. Because many times or countless times, I will tell myself, I just cannot simply rely on what I know or what I have seen. Then when I say that, whether a painting is half finished or finished paintings, I'm always at all, not what I've done, but I think the power of God holding my hand. Among my collection of classical composers, I know I have the most number of the CDs of Mozart. I must have had close to a hundred interpreted by different conductors, musicians, CDs or music of Mozart, duo, Mozart on guitar, even uh, Mozart on a cappella, symphonies, the early symphonies, late symphonies. And the music of Mozart is something I think even it exposed me, uh, Mo Mozart music to a lot of music lovers. I think it's, I would say 90% or 80% Mozart music are on the happy side. I know for a fact that if I'm still alive, I think best for music is up for an interpretation when I will focus on maybe doing cathedrals or very, or very sacred music or sacred uh, paintings or something to do with sacred music or something to do with maybe angels or the Holy Trinity. Don't you think so, that the best for music? So, for some time, I've always been wanting to do paintings on cathedrals. I think the color blue is always associated with being somber. As they say, don't feel blue, something like that. Blue is one of the hardest color to handle. But blue is not a sad color. It, it's, I want blue to be very exuberant that makes you jump up and down. It's very, very hopeful. Of course, you will only say the sky is dark blue when, it, when there's a, a rain or a coming storm. But generally, I think a blue sky is, you know, it feels so hopeful. I, my career is not just like Parabang, it happens to... No? There are times that I would be ashamed to tell you that literally I was crying in my bed in my, with my wife when I was starting. I didn't even paint for one year because I hate painting because I was so devastated. A lot of my friends who understand music tells me that we know that you're uh, doing a homage to Bach, doing a homage to Sati. I don't know how to read notes, but they tell me I can, or of course they know how to read notes. I don't know how to read notes. I'm tone deaf. But I think it, it is, it, I think it's a, it's a gift that makes me like, if there's more symbols in the music, I think I react to my hands, react to whether the movement of the symbols, where it's predominant, uh, where the music is predominantly more suiting flute. When I put 
texture in my painting if you look closely at to my paintings there are areas that it's flat so i don't want people to see paintings that you know it's overdone full of texture i want maybe some uh, areas that looks unfinished or raw but i always judge a painting the totality of the whole painting not not uh, section by section i don't want a painting like that it's it becomes so predictable so there's some areas that uh, uh, it's close to look unfinished there's so many paintings here that but one particular painting that makes me jump up and down is that pa painting there over there imagine that yellow thing it reminds me of, of course, ang galing-galing ni Amor Solo. But yung tipo, I am a, uh, like a contemporary abstract artist, but it reminded me of, you know, yung makanya mga bu isa bukid na yung that shaft of light, that, that yellow, yellow thing. Sabi ko, oh my God, I, I like the painting. I think I am successful in finishing that painting that there's a, a crescendo to the to the whole painting. If you ask me something to learn, something specific at all, I'm not na okay, this is how I do it. I'm not going to do it. Pero to tell them that oh, I think you should blah, 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 blah. I was like, I don't know how you You know what I mean? It's a thin line that you can advise that you're not really interested in it. What motiv motivates me always is painting is the discovery. So when people walk around the walls of this gallery, I hope people will discover their own version of discovery through these paintings.